Hey y'all, hey Amanda here, and today I'm going to do another What I Eat in a Day video. Thought I'd just go ahead and get this little intro out of the way while I'm waiting on my face mask to dry. That's why my face looks shiny and strange. Um, yeah, so this is the Pacifica Hot Vegan Face Mask. I don't, I don't feel a particular way about it. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I probably wouldn't repurchase it, but if someone gave it to me, I'd use it. I decided to actually get dressed today. Got a little sweater dress on. First time I've gotten fully dressed in pretty much the entire time since we've been home. So, so I think it's like four weeks-ish now. Anyway, I am going to go ahead and get some stuff done while I'm waiting on this face mask to dry. And I will come back and we'll go ahead and get my morning beverage started. <sighs> Put the tiniest bit of makeup on so I almost almost look human and some earrings so it's like I sort of got dressed for the day even though a sweater dress is basically a moo moo so I am not going to make a full pot of coffee today I decided I'm going to take a break from coffee for a few days and finish up this matcha that I have it's from the Spice and Tea Exchange uh, I think they have them in a few different places but we got this in Annapolis and it is a sweet matcha. I would not buy this one again. It is very sweet for me. I have to use a lot of soy milk. Um, so I'd probably buy one that is unsweetened next time. But I'm just going to go ahead and add a tablespoon of this. I've got a little half tablespoon to my Nama Stay Home with the Cat mug that my friend Lindsay got me. I don't remember if that was a birthday gift or a Christmas gift. But I love it. So, just add two scoops of that to my mug. And I'm also going to add a packet of the Four Sigmatic Mushroom Elixir with Lion's Mane. I love Four Sigmatic stuff. I know some people will think it's just a bunch of... Come on, focus. There we go. Just a bunch of phony baloney, but I really think it benefits me. I notice a clear difference in my mind when I use this stuff. So, love it. And I actually, I just genuinely like the taste of their coffee. I love their coffee. A lot of people don't like it because it's very earthy. I actually enjoy it because it's earthy. I really like that aspect of it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this open and add that to my mug as well. So I have this Nespresso brand, uh, I don't know what it's technically called, a frother or something. So you add your liquid to it and you can make it hot or cold. It's got two settings. I'm just going to go ahead and add this soy milk that I got on Amazon. I've never actually used this one before. It's Pacific Foods Barista Series Soy. And it was pretty much the only one I could find. So I'm going to add that up in here and get it warmed up and then I'll go ahead and mix it with my powders. So as you can see, or maybe not because it doesn't want to focus, that makes the milk warm and frothy. So I'm going to go ahead and just pour it into my mug. And then to get it all blended, I have this little guy, this is, what does it say, Zizis? Zillis brand? I don't know, I don't recommend this brand, it's not great. I have to like hold the battery pack to get it to actually work, but I go ahead and use this to blend all the powders with the milks. And I find that does a pretty good job. See like the speed varies, it's like fast and then slow. This is just not a good one. It, it's not constructed well. I'm going to find a better one at some point, but I just haven't yet. And this also froths too, but it doesn't uh, warm or cool like the Nespresso thing. So here's our final drink. It's just a really frothy, it's not super green because I had that Four Sigmatic pack. But yeah, it should be pretty tasty. So I'm gonna drink that and 
do some work and then I'll check back in when I have either a late lunch or, or a late breakfast or an early lunch. Um, just depends on when I get hungry. So it is 12.22 and I am going to go ahead and have some lunch. I was going to make something, but I think I'll do that for dinner instead because I don't really feel like making anything. I'm sort of on a roll getting some uh, blog posts drafted. So I'm going to have this pasta I made last night. It's just a summer veggies pasta. I've got some penne pasta with asparagus, zucchini, bell pepper. There are a couple of jalapeno peppers, grape tomatoes, garlic, and then I made a sauce with some garlic infused olive oil and I seasoned with some Italian seasoning. I like getting the random seasoning packets from like Home Goods or Marshalls. Those are usually really good, honestly. I love the food sections in those stores because there's always hidden gems. So I'm gonna have this, probably not gonna heat it up. I'm the kind of person that can eat anything cold. It doesn't bother me at all. And yeah, that's gonna be my lunch for today. And I'm gonna go ahead and chow down. I did want to mention that I went ahead and ordered this stuff online. I usually like the, come on focus. Focus. I like the Good Planet Parmesan, the shredded Parmesan, but I didn't have enough stuff to order from Wegmans to place an Instacart order to get that. So I just picked this up on Amazon and it is the Go Veggie brand of Parmesan. And honestly, it's pretty good too. It's not my favorite, but I've found most vegan Parmesan is pretty good. Austin made me a chai latte. It's just a chai tea bag and some soy milk, some of the barista blend soy milk. And it's delicious. I was really craving another warm beverage. So, I don't know if I'm not gonna actually eat this today, but I figured I'm making it today, so I might as well share it with you guys. I am using on my website, what did I name this? Super versatile granola recipe on my amandaphenomenon.com blog. And I am making some granola today because I had two apples that were just getting a little old that need to get used up. So I went ahead and I already blitzed them in my blender or my uh, food processor. So they are nice and pureed. And now I'm going to get the rest of the recipe together. And I've already got the oven preheating at 250. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk you guys through this. So I need a bowl. So it's granola, we're gonna need oats. I used two cups of oats in my recipe. some nuts so I'm going to add a cup of almonds you can whole almonds flaked almonds whatever just I like to have almonds in there. okay Ooh. the screen's gone dark and then I do a cup of a secondary almond I usually prefer to do pecans but I don't have pecans so I'm gonna do walnuts instead You guys just heard Bernie meow over there. She's being so cute. We're also going to need a fourth cup. Well, I use coconut sugar in the original recipe, and I do prefer to use coconut sugar, but I don't have coconut sugar. I finished that off last week, I think, so I'm gonna use brown sugar in this. So a fourth cup of that. I also use a fourth cup of maple syrup. I think my maple syrup's coming to an end in this particular bottle. There we go, one fourth. And I just hold that over the bowl for a second since it's kind of viscous. It takes a minute for it all to get out. And then we're gonna do a cup of puree, not a cup, a half cup of puree, and then a teaspoon of seasoning. 
toss that in the sink. I have a pre-made pumpkin spice seasoning that I use all the time. I just make it myself because I always have the um, ingredients that go into it. So I'm gonna throw that in. And I'm gonna put a half cup of the puree in. And then I will show you guys what it looks like on the tray before I throw it in the oven. Here's what the granola looks like on the pan. I'm about to put it in the oven as soon as it's finished preheating. And this will go in for an hour and a half at 250 and you'll want to take it out every 30 minutes to just give it a little stir and make sure everything is baking and getting nice and crispy and delicious on all edges. So like I said, this recipe is at amandaphenomenon.com and if I remember, I'll try and link it below. I'm really bad at remembering to link stuff below in these like vlog type videos, but if I don't, leave a comment and I'll put the link in. So yeah gonna put this in the oven here's my granola all done toasty wish you guys could smell this it smells amazing so good so I'm gonna let that cool off and then I'll probably jar it up in a couple of mason jars and stick it in the pantry and use it over the next few days here's my dinner I had some romaine that I had already cut up some leftover uh, tofu and potatoes. So I added that in, some grape tomato, avocado, onion, Kalamata olives, and I topped it with vegan parm and hemp seeds. And then I'm using this vegan ranch with everything. Sorry if you heard that noise. That was Austin making some weird noise. Um, and that's my dinner. So I'm gonna get stuck into that. I'm having a glass of wine as we watch Coco.